Now, I tend to be an optimist. I tend to be one of those people who sees the glass half full. But there are occasions when even I find it difficult to see the good in some circumstances. Folks, that, that baptisms in our convention family are down 61%. Fewer than 500 people last year were baptized. Almost 100 churches in the last 10 years have either closed their doors or left the convention entirely. Church attendance is down 10%. Youth group attendance over the last five years is down 44% in our churches. Young adults are leaving the church. Our seminary enrollment is down 8%. Fewer and fewer students enrolling in the MDiv program. Biblical literacy at our churches is way down. The culture is becoming increasingly hostile to evangelical Christians. Many of our pastors are discouraged and feel close to burnout. It grieves me when I hear that people are more interested in preserving buildings and legacies than in reaching out and making a difference in their communities. It is hard to believe that some churches are still fighting the worship wars or arguing over the color of the carpet, squabbling about whether to have pews or not have pews. When I hear such silly arguments, it makes me think that some of us would be content to rearrange the furniture on the deck of the Titanic rather than take action. This is a time to take action, and actually here in Atlantic Canada, there are churches that are taking action, and we're seeing the renewed work of God in churches and communities. And at Acadia Divinity College, we also want to take action in ways that will help you and provide you with resources and practical tools so that you can give leadership in your church and so that you and your community can make a difference. This year, the Simpson Lectures at Acadia Divinity College are being transformed into a special forum on church renewal in Atlantic Canada. We are bringing together a group of pastors from right here in this Atlantic region who are seeing renewed hope, renewed growth, renewed life in their congregations. It's an opportunity for us to come together and to hear from these pastors, but also to be in dialogue with them. Come to Wolfville for the full experience or gather with some of your church leaders and watch the evening sessions as they're streamed online. There is hope, there is help, and the time to act is now.